hello my lovely gorgeous beautiful wonderful people you are welcome back to our channel today i want to really show you guys how to make quick and easy shower cap how to make your handmade customized shower cap so i will make it easy easy and very quick so i'll turn my camera to the table and show you how you can do it very quick super easy all right guys let's get stretched to the main tutorial of the day for our shower cap for our shower cap you are going to be needing a water resistant fabric like this when you go to your fabric shop you ask you're going to be needing it water resistant fabric like this then you are going to be also needing another lighter one that we are going to be using as the lining so as you can see i've already done this one so i've already gone ahead to sew it it's remaining to sew round where i'm going to encase my elastic here so let me set this aside first so what do you need to make this you need your tape measure your chalk your pin to pass your elastic through the casing your scissors your elastic it doesn't matter which color you can use white or black it's not a problem you'll be needing your maybe your ruler or your pattern master just a simple and a quick one we don't need much to make this so the measurement that you will need let me set this aside so lovely so i'm cutting out the fabric uh, the measurement that you will need is 21 by 21 inches both uh, the main the one that you're going to be using uh, for the upper part and the one you're going to be using for the lining part so let me do that quickly because of time and we move forward i'm done cutting lovely this is what you have here i have 21 by 21 inches this is not a standard guys not like you're wearing a low cut you can do 20 by 20 inches so right from this edge that we close here i'm taking 10 inches facing up and uh, you face down the right side of the lining which means we are doing right side facing right side we are doing right side facing right side so this is what you'll be having so the next thing to do now i'll go to the mesh, uh, my sewing machine now and sew round like half an inch or two five of, of an inch you sew half an inch or two five of an inch depending on the sewing allowance that you usually use to sew half an inch or less than half an inch so guys let me go to the sewing machine and sew it round why sewing it round please leave two inches space somewhere leave a two inches space somewhere this is where you, you this space will be using it to turn it right side out at the end of the day so you sew round right round and leave like a two inches space to turn it right side out before leaving that space just backstitch so that the, the thread will not lose at the end of the day. So let me go to the machine and sew it round and then come over to the table and we'll proceed, guys. So lovely, so I'm done sewing. Just trying to trim off a little bit of the seam allowance. So you turn it right side out. Push it in. Use your hand like this. You see that? To arrange it properly well. So just few steps to go we are almost done guys so the next thing now is to determine our elastic you may want to use a quarter inch elastic like this and make sure ask them as the fabric shop at the fabric shop make sure it's a good quality not the one you wear before you know it you, it will just uh, uh get spoiled it doesn't have that uh, elast uh, elasticity ask them so how do you determine the amount of uh, um elastic to use for this go around your head and tie it just the way you want to your your shower cap to fit just how tight you want your shower cap to fit you and then you mark that point you bring it out and cut this is the amount of elastic that i will be needing for myself if you're at home and you're making it for yourself here i have 13 and a half you see that then you add 
an inch allowance that you'll be using to join your elastic usually to join it before encasing it making it 14 or 14 and a half well if you if you are making it for so there is a calculation head circumference you measure the circumference of your head for an adult standard head circumference is usually like uh, 22 inches to 24 inches 22 to 24 So it's usually between 22 to 24 inches. So mine, I'm having a 23, for example. Then you take 23, the head circumference. Head circumference, head circumference, for example, 23, e.g., 23. The head circumference times 0.7. So you calculate it. The head circumference is 23. You get your calculator. Then 23, your 23 times 0 0.7 will give you 16.1. So for me, this is just a, a formula that you use to get it if you are making it for yourself. And for this, I would advise you don't add any uh, allowance to join your elastic whatsoever. So you make do with this 16. By the time you use half an inch or quarter of an inch to join your elastic, you'll be having 15 and half or 15 there above. So we are almost close to what we have there. So to say. So for me now, I'm going to be cutting 15 inches because I want it very, very tight. Because I want it very, very tight. You know, when you want to sell something, you have to make it in such a way that uh, it will not be so tight. Because some people don't like it tight. But since, for instance, I'm making for myself, so I call my elastic. And uh, this is my elastic now. So before we join our elastic, using our pin to encase it round, I'll go back to the machine and just sew round. So like uh, three quarter of an inch round, so that I will use this, just make a casing where our elastic will go inside. So I'll go to my machine now and sew around the elastic casing. Please, three quarter of an inch, check the elastic you're using and make sure that the casing that you're going to be sewing here will pass your elastic without any uh, struggle, so to say. So let me go and sew it. I'm done sewing. I'm done sewing the casing for my elastic. I went ahead also to sew the casing. This is for uh, a little girl. I also went ahead to sew the casing. So now it's time to encase our elastic. So lovely, this is it. I'm done with the elastic. You distribute it evenly all around. You use your hand needle to tack it down here so let me do that quickly so lovelies once you are done sewing you push your elastic out of the way you push it out of the way push it in out of the way so what you will do now is to close this place where we left open just fold it in and sew very close to the edge where we left open. After sewing, you distribute evenly. As our shower cap is ready, look at this. This one is for the, the one I made for the little girl. The fabric is 19 by 19 inches. And I use a elastic of 14 inches. All together with the, the, the joining. You know you have to join your elastic after encasing it. So look at how beautiful it looks very very it's not a, a hair bonnet that has to be loose it's a shower cap but actually we also have to breathe in here you don't have to make it too extremely tight so this is the one that i made for myself we are in a very long bread and you can see so you can see i'm also wearing a very very long bread and voluminous bread and you can see that hmm? that uh, it fits so well you can see that this is the 21 by 21 inches so why on the fold we took 10 inches so to say so now i can shower look at the back i can shower as much as i want <laughs> water cannot come inside my hair with this
so I can shower as long as I want with this guy. <laughs> Of this one, so my lovelies, I hope you're able to learn one or two things. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share my video, give me a thumbs up, guys, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your love and support. I 